All right, we have Coach Ken Wagner, players Scott Farrell and Ian Harward here with us today. We're going to start with the opening statement from Coach Wagner and then let you direct your questions to them. What can I say? I just love the way our guys played. Scott and Ian, you know, both nights, and, you know, I tell Scott all year that he's our MVP. And uh, I hope the others don't get jealous, but he's just a tough, hard-nosed person. As a coach, you're happy because this is really a player's win. They really came and played hard. We got out-rebounded last time we played Dixie, and we beat them by 20 this time. So I was just excited by our effort. Uh, Scott, is this a career high for you, 31 points? Spencer saying yes, so <laughs> I guess it is. Okay, thank you. Some follow-ups. Okay, well let, let's let's talk about it. First, Ian, it appeared that you kind of energized your team um, with the blocks. Uh, I think there was a sequence there three straight times early in the game um, where you had a block, and that seemed to set the tone defensively. Can you talk about uh, that and how it came to be? Yeah, I mean. A lot of times, uh, me coming off the bench, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to bring a lot of energy, um, kind of give a little bit of a spark. And I figure I can do it more on the defensive end. And I mean, the, a lot of times in practice, we, we practice funnel them down to me and Big Jordan. And that way, we can really challenge the shots and make it hard on them. And I mean, just in the right place at the right time, I guess. Let's come over here to Scott. Uh, obviously, you had a tremendous offensive uh, output. And many times, there were times where it appeared you might be trapped, and yet you still um, made, made the bucket. Did you just feel that uh, everything was going your way? You just had that confidence that you could get out of any situation? Yeah, I think so. I mean, kind of like he said, like, when our bench, when these guys come in, they just give us so much energy and positiveness that, like, you feel like you can, you know, make any of those kind of shots. And it really was just kind of one of those nights, I think, for me. Dixie State has a tendency to make some really good runs. They're a very yeah. good second half team, and they they got it into down to single digits there um, in, in the second half, where you guys had to step up. Your thoughts when they were making their run? Um, well, we knew they were going to make their runs. I mean, they're a really good basketball team, and uh, when we played them the first time this year, they we were up ten and they came back like it was nothing. So this time we knew they were going to make their runs, and just glad Ian was down there to make those big stop and blocks and. Um, we were just pressuring the ball really well, I think, and which made them turn it over. And we just felt like we kind of, if we pressure them really hard, we could just make them turn it over and we can go. Coach, your, your thoughts, of, you know, during that run? Well, it was great. I thought our guys responded, rebounded hard, played good defense, and I think that really helped. And then I was proud of LJ, our little sophomore point guard, had a great night. And he's capable of doing that all night, but all the time. But he, he does it in practice. But he's a little shy. But he's a great shooter and really, really quick. And so I was proud the way he stepped up tonight, also. And Ian, uh, you know, not only defensively but offensively, it looked like you wanted to go, uh, you know, hard to the rim. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. yeah, I mean, um, <clears throat> one of the things it is is like I've, I've been trying to. Really focus on being strong, making a strong move through the hole, and I mean tonight was a great chance to do that. They have two really, really good big men, and um, there was a good challenge for me. They they got us last time, and I I mean I feel like all of us we had something that we wanted to prove this time. So. Cal Baptist, uh, a team that you split with this year, um, you know they're tremendously strong, and you're going up against them in the championship game. Uh, your thoughts about that? Well, we have a lot of respect for them. They're very well coached, very athletic, very strong, excellent shooters. And, you know, it's the same thing any night. We're going to have to really defend if we want to win. Scott, your thoughts about playing in the title game? Um, I'm excited. I mean, <laughs> it was a little, we had two hard games to get here, so we definitely want to finish it out. And like Coach said, I mean, they're a really good basketball team, but I feel like, you know, they're like every other team here. They, they can shoot and they're all athletic. So. I think if we, our big guys keep blocking shots and we keep pressuring the ball, I think we have a good chance for tomorrow. Ian, so is that what you'll be thinking about? Are you just uh, imagining uh, you know, <laughs> making those stops at the rim tomorrow? I'm always imagining those stops at the rim. So, I mean, yeah, I'm just really excited to play them and, again, being in the right spot. So. Hey, all Ian worries about is the next meal. <laughs> <laughs> or how
how many blocks he got in the game. <laughs> yeah, <that's okay. laughs> Do you have anything else? All right. Thank you. Congratulations. Okay, is this the first time uh, BYU Hawaii has gone to the finals of this tournament? Uh, yes, uh, it's only been three years. And right. We lost the second round to Dixie two years ago, okay. and last year we lost to who did we lose to? Shaman. First round. Sure. First round. Yeah. So I, ironically, then you were actually knocked out by the champion both years because right. Dixie won it the first year. BYU knocked him out. Shaman knocked you out in the, in the yeah. first round. This last time they won the championship. Um, so, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.